meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. Let's look at some climate and uh, you know for October so far the temperatures you know a lot of days we've been below average but these days when it's in the 70s it's been comfortable it's been uh, just a little below average on some of these days uh, a couple days we had temperatures way above average but um, yeah recently we had some highs in the 60s and we're continuing with that cool trend today and tomorrow but we'll warm things up later this week more on that in a moment rainfall well you know we had that day just recently Saturday three quarters of an inch that's great we needed it, you know, it's the it's the fall planting season for grass, but um, the thing is we're still down about 1.4 inches for the month. We're pretty close to average for the year. I think we're doing good in the short term, but I think, you know, the rain just needs to keep coming steadily. So next couple of days, next few days, you know, not much out there until we get to Friday, then scattered showers, Saturday scattered showers. These numbers, I guarantee they're going to go up and down a little bit, but the theme is that Friday and Saturday we've got some scattered showers expected. All right, so today, tomorrow, highs in the 60s. We're below average still, close to average Thursday, and then warming it up Friday, uh, starting to drop a little Saturday. We'll drop a little bit more on Sunday, getting back to some 60s. So at the moment, you know, big area low pressure to the northeast, big area high pressure way off to the west. What's causing all these clouds in between and the scattered showers? There's an upper level low, and basically it's a large upper level low, but the southern part of it's kind of dropping out there. The northern part still could bring us a sprinkler or two today, but other than that, we should be fine. We've got some pretty dry air at the surface. Dew points are in the 40s. So that's why right now we don't have any precip out there uh, with all the dry air and mostly clear to partly cloudy skies. We'll hold on to that uh, forecast up through noon, mostly clear to partly cloudy, and winds will be out of the north-northwest at about 10 miles an hour, maybe 10 to 15 for a little bit. Uh, so we go into the afternoon, notice the clouds increase. There's no green on here, there's, there's no precip, but I think a couple sprinkles could sneak in from the north, and that'd be about it between, let's say, 2 o'clock and 6 p.m. Otherwise, tonight, we go to partly cloudy skies and quiet weather. Winds will be light and out of the north. Tomorrow, we've got partly cloudy skies, no rain, just wonderful weather out there with a light north wind. It's going to be great with temperatures upper 60s to low 70s inland. Today on the water, winds north-northwest 10 to 15 knots, a few higher gusts, seas 2 to 3 feet, the bay's 2 feet. The bay temperature keeps ticking down a little bit with these cooler mornings now. We go down about a degree every day or every other day, so uh, it's still pretty mild though. 67 for air temperature today, killable hills, 65 Virginia Beach. Uh, Mid-60s Norfolk, Portsmouth, upper 60s Chesapeake, 66 in Suffolk, partly sunny, Maybe a sprinkle or two, and that's it. 62 in Melfa, low 60s, Hampton and Gloucester, 66 in Newport News, 68 in Williamsburg. In the tropics, we're still watching this uh, cluster of thunderstorms. It could develop into something. Right now, it's just not organized. It's not, it's not rotating, but it might do that over the next couple of days and then move towards the Lesser Antilles. Then it would probably hook to the north and head towards Bermuda or east of Bermuda. So we'll keep an eye on it. Around here, we've got quiet weather. Next couple of days, highs in the 60s, 70s on Thursday, and then going into uh, Friday, scattered showers. Saturday, some scattered showers. And, um, you know, again, the, the, the numbers probably will go up and down a little bit, but I, I think at least that's our next decent shot at getting some rain.